the end of its 3,500 mile journey, the Queen's plane comes to rest at London Airport. The day is cold, but the welcome awaiting her is warm. The Queen Mother is here with Prince Charles, Princess Anne and Princess Margaret. Airport Commandant Sir John Dorbiak escorts them to the plane, where the Queen and the Duke are waiting for the reunion with their family. The royal children are eager to see their parents after three weeks apart, and they hurry the last few yards up the steps. The temperature at the airport is 60 degrees colder than the blazing sunshine of Kano, so a stewardess brings Her Majesty a fur coat. Inside the plane, the Queen tells her family of her last few hours in Nigeria. Only yesterday, she and the Duke drove through the streets of Kano to meet the Emir. The whole population of the city turned out to watch the last ceremonial drive of the royal tour. Past the Emir's guards, past the northern tribesmen on their proud camels, the Queen's car made its way to the palace gates. As the car drew up, the Emir was waiting to welcome his royal guests. With this last visit, typical in its exotic splendor, the royal tour of Nigeria came to an end. Back at London Airport, the first family greetings are over, and the Queen leaves her plane for the official welcome home. As is usual on such occasions, the first to welcome Her Majesty is the Lord Lieutenant of the County, Lord Latham. Next is the Prime Minister, Sir Anthony Eden. The Nigerian commissioners in London are present, one from each region and one from the Federation. A group of Nigerian cadets from Sandhurst and from Wrighton Police College are presented to the Queen and the Duke. The ceremony over, the royal party enter their cars. Prince Charles makes a point of saying goodbye properly. The Queen's children are becoming very experienced about these official occasions, but for all their poise and self-confidence, it's difficult to behave like grown-ups all the time. Sometimes excitement breaks through. So ends a tour which has been a triumphant success both for Her Majesty and for the Nigerian people.